Hey, how's it going? This video is going to be a little bit different than the videos I normally post. This is more of a tech review, but I just had to make this video because this is a problem I had a lot when I was starting out and I really couldn't figure it out. It took me a long time to figure out how to beat this problem. Now, if you have a GoPro or a similar action camera, you're taking that camera out in the world, you're doing action sports, you're moving fast, you're bringing the footage back, putting it through your editing software, exporting it and uploading it to YouTube, and then wondering why your footage looks like this, Notice all the blockiness, all the artifacting. Your footage didn't look like this when it came out of the camera. It didn't look like this in your editing software. Why does it look like this on YouTube? Well, the reason your footage looks like this on YouTube is because of compression codecs. When you upload a video to YouTube, YouTube assigns one of two codecs to your video, either ABC or VP9. Now the ABC codec is hard compression. Now if YouTube assigns your video the VP9 codec, your video is going to look good. It's going to look more like this. So how do you get the VP9 codec? How do you stop YouTube from assigning the AVC.1 compression codec to your videos? Every time you upload a video to YouTube, it has to be stored on their servers, and that takes up space. Now, if you're a small channel, uh, you're a new channel, you don't have a lot of subscribers, you don't have a lot of views, then you're not viewed as important enough to get the VP9 codec on your videos. So after doing a lot of digging through internet forums, watching hundreds of YouTube videos about why does my video look like crap, I bought different cameras, I bought different editing software, I bought a new computer, you know, I basically did everything I could and I'm like, finally figured out like, well, it's YouTube. YouTube is ruining my videos. I'm going to tell you the two ways to guarantee that YouTube gives your videos the VP9 codec and doesn't give it that crappy AVC compression. The first way you can probably get the VP9 codec is to either export or render your video out at 60 frames per second or film in 60 frames per second if you have a camera that's capable of doing so. The other way you can definitely guarantee YouTube gives your video the VP9 codec is to upload a video that is a higher resolution than 1080p. If you upload a 4K video, it's guaranteed to get the VP9 codec and any fast moving action cam footage you have in that video is going to look the best possible. Now. That's the way to get YouTube to guarantee the codec. There's a few other things you need to make sure you're doing on your end so that the footage you're uploading to YouTube is the best that it can possibly look. The first thing is you want a decent quality action camera. You want the footage coming out of the camera when you watch it on your computer, the raw footage. You want it to look good. The next thing you want to do is make sure you're exporting or rendering your files out of your editing software using the H.264 codec. Now, if you don't have the H.264 codec as an export option, you're probably going to want to find new editing software. I use Premiere Pro. It works great. Another thing you want to make sure you're doing is exporting your videos or rendering them out at a high enough bit rate. I recommend between 20 and 40 megabytes per second. That should look fine. And then finally, you want to make sure you're exporting higher than 1080p. So I export my videos at 2560 by 1440. I don't have good internet, so I can't really upload 4K. If you can upload 4K, upload 4K. But 2560 by 1440 will also get you the VP9 codec. So I hope this helped a lot of people out. If you were having this problem, you couldn't figure it out, and this helped fix your problem, leave me a comment down below. If you liked this video, please like it, subscribe it. I myself am a newer YouTuber. I have a small channel, and I'm really trying to grow, so it took me so long to figure this out. And I still see so many people out there in forums trying to figure out how to do this, how to make their videos look the best possible. And um, there's still a lot of people uploading bad, bad quality helmet cam. I see it all the time. I see tons of helmet cam footage with the AVC1 codec, and uh, there's no need for it. So I hope this helped you guys. Thanks.